Hi guys, so as you could see in the title of this video, I finally made a bookshelf tour and as most of you guys asked, this will be a detailed bookshelf tour so that I will show all the covers as well. And basically I will show you guys three different bookshelves. One of them, the first one will be this big one right behind me and then I will show you guys another one where I keep all my uh, paperback young adult contemporaries and also my new adult books. And uh, there's a third shelf where I just keep books that I couldn't put anywhere else. And uh, I just want to say sorry for the bad lightning in the whole video, but I can only film at night and my lights suck. So yeah, I hope it will be still okay. And yeah, I filmed um, every part of this video on a tripod. Except the first one, which is like the first minute or so when I uh, had the camera in my hand. So uh, I hope the shakiness is not going to be too much on that part, but after that it will be all still and calm. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the bookshelf tour and I hope you guys will enjoy it. So this is my first bookshelf and this is the biggest bookshelf I own. And I will start with giving a quick overview. So I have, I think, five levels of books and uh, the way I organize them is that I have most of my paperbacks on the first um, three shelves and on the very top right here I have mostly my adult series and then I have some trilogies and uh, first and second books in the trilogies and these are all young adult I think right here I have some more trilogies and series and then on the very uh, last two shelves I have most of my hardcover books and these are either series or just random books or standalones. So on the very top of my shelf I have most of my adult series and most of these have to do with uh, vampires. The first series I have is the Night Huntress series by Janine Frost. The first book is called Halfway to the Grave. The second one is One Foot in the Grave. The third one is At Grave's End. And the fourth one is Destined for an Early Grave. And this series I think has got eight or nine books and I have read most of them but I only own the first four books but it's a great vampire adult vampire series which I love and recommend to all of you. Then I have the Fever series by Karen Marie Morning which is one of my all-time favorite series and one of the best adult series that I have ever read and it has to do with the paranormal world which is amazing in this uh, series. And the first book is called Dark Fever, then Blood Fever, Fay Fever, Dream Fever, and the last book is Shadow Fever, and I recommend this series to all of you. And then I've got the Georgina Kincaid series by Rusha Mead. It is just amazing, and uh, this has to do with, again, the paranormal world, and our main character is a succubus, so she basically uh, sucks out the soul of men, and maybe women too, I can't remember. But anyways, the first book is Succubus Blues. The second one is Succubus Nights. Third one is Succubus Dreams. Fourth one is Succubus Heat. The fifth one is called Succubus Shadows. And the last book is Succubus Revealed. And the next series I have got is the Chicago Land Vampires by Chloe Neal. And uh, this is another one of my favorite adult series. I have got Some Girls Bite, Friday Night Bite, Twice Bitten, Heart Bitten, and then drink deep and don't let these ugly covers fool you because these are amazing and very fun books and then i have four books in the immortally sexy series by michelle rowan and i only read the first book in this series but uh, and it was a long time ago but i really enjoyed it so i plan to uh, continue with this series and i have got bitten and smitten the second one is Fanged and Fabulous. The third one is Lady and the Vamp. And I'm missing the fourth one, but I do have the fifth one, which is Tall, Dark and Fangsome. And then I have basically my very, 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 very favorite series ever, and it is the Vampire Academy series by Rochelle Mead. And I'm sure a lot of you know about them and read them and love them. And if you haven't, then please, please, please read them because they are amazing. 
The first book is Vampire Academy, then Frostbite. The third book is called Shadow Kiss and it's one of my favorites in the series. Fourth one is Blood Promise. The fifth one is Spirit Bound. And the last book, which is a beast, it's called Last Sacrifice. On the second shelf I mostly have young adult trilogies and I either own all three of those books or I own the first two in this series. And since I don't really have a lot of space for the books, I had to stack some of the books on top of these ones right here. So first of all I'm going to show you uh, the ones on the top. I have the first two books from the Shade series by Jerry Smith Reddy in paperback. And the first book I have is Shade. And the second book is called Shift. Then I have the first two books in the Elemental series by Bridget Cameron, which I love. And the first one is called Storm. And the second one is Spark. Then I have random book because it just fit here. And it is Everneath by Brady Ashton. And I also own the second book, but it's in a hardcover. And I read this book a long time ago, but loved it a lot. And gorgeous cover. Then I have the two books in the Oh My God series or duology by... Caroline Chise and the first book is Oh My God and the second one is Goddess Bootcamp and this is just a very fun and very silly but uh, addicting series that I read a long time ago. Finding Sky and Stealing Phoenix by Joss Sterling and I only read uh, Finding Sky but I remember that I loved it a lot but I need to read the sequel as well. Oops. I have the first two books in the Raven Boys Quartet, I guess, and the first one is called The Raven Boys, and the second one is The Dream Thieves, and I only read the first book not long ago, but I loved it a lot, so I can't wait to read the second one. And then I have the first two books again in the Great and Terrible Beauty or Gemma Doy series by Libba Bray, and it is A Great and Terrible Beauty, and Rebel Angels, and again, I only read the first one. I um, didn't really enjoy it all that much, so I don't feel like reading the second one anytime soon, but I will definitely give it another go. And again, I have another random book up here, and it is The Eternity Cure by Julie Kagawa, and this is the second book in the Blood of Eden uh, trilogy, but I own the first one in a hardcover, so that's why it's not here, but... It's an amazing series so far, or trilogy. And then I have the first two books, I think, in the Kiss by an Angel a trilogy by Elizabeth Chandler, and it is Ever Crossed and Everlasting. And then I also have the Inside Out duology by Maria V. Snyder, and it is Inside Out and Outside In. And I read the first one, really enjoyed it, but I still need to pick up the second one. The first one is called Forsaken, the second book is Forbidden, and the third book is Forgiven. Then I have the Die For Me or Revenant trilogy by Amy Plum, which is Die For Me, Until I Die, and the third one is If I Should Die, and I only read the first one. Didn't really enjoy it all that much, but since I have all three books, I need to read this series. The next trilogy I have is the Paranormal Sea uh, trilogy by Kirsten White, which is... Paranormalcy, Supernaturally, and Endlessly. Then I have uh, two bind-ups and one singular book in Elizabeth Chandler's Dark Secrets series. And the first one is a bind-up of Legacy of Lies and Don't Tell. The second bind-up is of No Time to Die and The Deep End of Fear. And the third one is called The Backdoor of Midnight. Then I have the Hexhall trilogy by Rachel Hawkins, which is just a very, very, very fun uh, trilogy. I can't remember if I finished it because I read it a long time ago, but I think I will just reread it or read it for the first time. I don't really know. But the first book is called Hexhall. The second one is Raising Demons. And the third book is Spellbound. And then I have three bind-ups of Macabot's Mediator as series, which I really, really enjoyed. And the first bind-up is of Love You to Death and High Stakes. And the second book has got Mean Spirits and Young Blood. And the third book has got Grave Doubts and Heaven Sent. And then I have the first and the third book in Josephine Angelini's Starcross trilogy because I have the second book in hardcover and the first book is called Starcrossed and the third book is Goddess. I have the first two books in uh, the Nightshade series by Andrea Kramer and it is called Nightshade 
and Wolfsbane. And then I have uh, the first two books uh, from the Unearthly Trilogy by Cynthia Hand, and again I have the third book in hardcover, that's why it's not here, but it is one of my favorite trilogies ever, and it is definitely the best Angel uh, series or trilogy that I have ever read. And the first book is Unearthly, and the second one is Hallowed. And then I have Throne of Glass and Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Maas, and this is my uh, one of my newest favorite series because these two books were just so addicting and so much fun, and I loved it. I have the first two books in the Birthmark trilogy by Carol O'Brien, and the first book is Birthmarked, and the second one is called Prized. And then I have The Selection and The Elite by Kira Kess, and these covers are just so gorgeous, and I really, really adore the first book. The second book was kinda meh, but I'm really excited uh, for the third book, which comes out soon. I have Glow by Amy Kathleen Ryan, and also Spark by Amy Kathleen Ryan, and these, uh, these are the first two books in the Glow trilogy, which I haven't started, but I'm really excited to read them. On this shelf, again, I have mostly trilogies or series that has got uh, at least four books, and again, I have some of them stacked on the top, so I will start with those. The first one is the Divergent trilogy by Veronica Roth, which has got Divergent, Insurgent, and a legend. Divergent is one of my favorite books ever, but the other two books in the trilogy was not as good as the first one, which just pains me. I have the first four books in the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armentrout, which is Obsidian, Onyx, Opal, and Origin. And if you haven't read this series, please do it, because it's just so addicting and it's so amazing, and I'm so happy that a lot of people started to read these, because I remember I read this series when Onyx came out and I had to wait a lot for the fourth and the third book but yes it's an amazing paranormal sci-fi alien kind of young adult series and then I have the Iron Fae series by Julie Kagawa which I haven't read like at all but the first book is The Iron King, the second one is Iron Daughter, the third one is Iron Queen and the last one is called Iron Knight. I will show you these at the end because all of my Cassandra Club books are here and it will just mess up the order. First I have the Poison Study Trilogy by Maria V. Snyder which has got Poison Study, Magic Study and Fire Study. I read Poison Study last year and I really really loved it but I still need to read the other two books but I, but I do recommend the first one. Then I have the Trio Trilogy by Amanda Hawking, which I read a few years ago, but I really, really loved it. And um, the first book is called Switched, the second one is Torn, and the third book is Ascend. And uh, this is a fairy trilogy, but it's really good. Then I have some dystopian kind of trilogies, and the first one is The Uglies Trilogy uh, by Scott Westerfeld, even though I know it has a fourth book, but I haven't read that, only the first three, which is... Uglies, Pretties, and Specials with the Ugly cover. This was basically my very first dystopian uh, series that I have ever read, and I love them so, so much, and I just want to reread it soon. Then I have the Chaos Walking Trilogy by Patrick Ness, which I haven't started yet, but as you can see, I have all the free books. And I actually did start the first one, but I only got into 30 pages, but I know that a lot of people really love this. And the first one is called The Knife of Never Letting Go. The second one is The Ask and the Answer. And the third book is Monsters of Man. And then I have the Hunger Games trilogy by Susan Collins, which is The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mocking Jay. And I love these covers. This is, I think, the adult edition or something like that. But it's an amazing trilogy, even though the third book kind of sucked, but the first two books I really enjoyed. And then I have the Maze Runner trilogy, which again has a fourth book, but I don't count it as a series, but as a trilogy. And the first one is the Maze Runner, the second one is the Scorch Trials, and the third one is Death Cure. And I only read the Maze Runner, but I enjoyed it, and I want to read the other two books too, and I'm so excited for the movie. The next few books uh, are not part of a trilogy, but a series, and it's the... 
uh, Gallagher Girl series by Ellie Carter and it's just a very fun young adult spy series and this series has I tell you I love you but then I would have to kill you Cross my heart and hope to spy Don't judge a girl by her cover only the good spy young and out of sight out of time and i just adore these covers i mean they just look so cute together and i love the design behind it and that they all look very you know cohesive and just so much fun with all the colors and i don't know i just really really adore it and then i have a random ellie carter book just because i wanted to keep them all together and because it fit on the shelf and it is high society by ellie carter and then I have my Cassandra Clare books and the first uh, series by her is the Mortal Instrument series which has got City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass which is my favorite book in the whole series and then the fourth book is City of Fallen Angels which you can see because it's just so huge and the fifth one which is City of Lost Souls which has got the most beautiful cover in the whole series in my opinion and I just adore this series to bits I also have the Infernal Devices trilogy by Cassandra Clare and the first book is Clockwork Angel the second book is Clockwork Prince and the third book is Clockwork Princess and I only read the first two books so please uh, don't spoil me on the third one because I don't know how I managed to not get spoiled about it for so long and just be and for that I just need to finish this series but <sighs> I'm afraid and I just love Jam and I know that everyone else loves Will so I feel a bit alone about that but I we will see how the third book will go but I know I will be devastated either way and now we arrive to my hardcover books and the left side of this is mostly contemporary while the right side of it is everything else and um, let's start on the very top right here which you can see Airhead by Mac Cabot and this is a trilogy and the other books are called Being Nikki and Runaway then I have Wanderlove by Kirsten Hubbard I'm not sure how to pronounce it but it's, it's a really good uh, contemporary book and I uh, recommend it to you if you love contemporary and if you love traveling because this one has both of those Beauty Queens by Libba Bray which I haven't read but I really want to The Catastrophic History of You and Me by Jess Rothenberg Bittersweet by Sarah Oakler My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick which I read but um, I wasn't as blown away by it as everyone else uh, seems to be but it was still uh, really good Burn for Burn by Jenny Han and Siobhan Vivian a Midsummer's Nightmare by Kelly Kaplinger, which I read and really, really enjoyed, and I recommend it to all of you. Then I have Before I Die by Jenny Dunham, which I know is one of um, April's favorite books from April Books, and she raves about it a lot, so I need to read it, but I read You Against Me by Jenny Dunham, and I didn't like that book at all. The Love of My Life by Louise Douglas, Boys Don't Cry by Mallory Blackman, and then I have two books from Stephanie Perkins and the first one is Anna and the French Kiss which is basically my very favorite contemporary book ever and I also have Lola and the Boy Next Door which I really liked but not as much as Anna and the French Kiss then I have the second and the third book in the summer trilogy I think by Jenny Han and the second one is called It's Not Summer Without You and the third one is We'll Always Have Summer What Happens Next by Colleen Clayton Rules of Attraction by Simone Alcalas, which is the second book in the Perfect Chemistry series or trilogy, but I have the first and the third in paperback, so I will show you that later. Gun 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 by Hannah Moskowitz. Oracle by Gina Rossati, which I read um, in this month and I really, really enjoyed it, so I recommend it to all of you. This next stack has um, the first and the second books in a trilogy or in a series. And let's start from the top, The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer and The Evolution of Mara Dyer. And I still haven't started this uh, trilogy just because I didn't want to wait a lot for the third book. But then I realized it yesterday that it was pushed back yet again till November. I have the first two books in the Bloodlines uh, series which is a spin-off of Vampire Academy and the first book is Bloodlines. And the second one is The Golden Lily. I have the first two books in the Dead Beautiful uh, trilogy by Yvonne Woon. And it is Dead Beautiful and Life Eternal. And I have Angel Burn and Angel Fire by Ellie Weatherly. 
And then I have some random paperbacks on the very top, and the first one is Across the Universe by Beth Revis. And this is the first book in the Across the Universe trilogy, which I read and adored. What's Left of Me by Kat Sang. And then I have the Shutter Me trilogy by Teher Mafi, which is one of my favorite trilogies ever. And the first book is called Shutter Me, and I have this in paperback, but I have the other two in hardcover, so the first one is Unravel Me. And the second one is Ignite Me. Ignite Me was one of the best books I ever read. And then I have three hardcovers that are parts of a trilogy, but uh, I have all the other books in paperback. And the first one is Dreamless by Josephine Angelini, and this is the second book in the Star Star Cross trilogy. Boundless by Cynthia Hand, which is the third and final book in the Unearthly trilogy. And Shine by Jerry Smith Reddy, which is the third book in the Shade trilogy. Sorry for the very bad lightning, but I'm at the very lowest of my shelf. And as you can see, I have some books stacked right on top of these. So let's start uh, with the ones on the top. And I have Girl Parts by John Cusick. Forgive My Fins by Terrilyn Child. And Generation Dead by Danielle Waters. Grave Mercy by Robin Lefevers. And The Ascents by Kimberly Durting, which is the second book in the Pledge uh, trilogy. And I read the Pledge a few months ago and I really enjoyed it, so I can't wait to pick this one up. Poison Princess by Cressley Cole, which I'm currently reading. The Immortal Rules by Julie Kagawa, which is the first book in the Blood of Eden trilogy. And I read this book and the second, as I showed before, and I really, really enjoyed this series. And I cannot wait uh, for the third book to come out. Everbound by Brody Ashton, which is the second book in the Everneath trilogy. And then I have the first two books in the Immortal Beloved um, trilogy by Kate Tiernan. And the first one is Immortal Beloved, and the second one is Darkness Falls. So first I have the Harry Potter series, which I haven't read yet. I read the first three books, but I still need to read the other four books. And even though I know that all of you know this series, I will still show the covers because I don't want them to feel left out. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And finally, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. And the fun fact is that I got all of these books used, and I think each of them were around $5. So I got all these seven books for basically uh, the price of one Harry Potter book, uh, if you buy them new. So I feel very lucky about that. A Million Sons by Beth Ravis, which is the second book in the Across the Universe trilogy. Hold Still by Nina Lacour. Venom by Fiona Paul, which I know that Cassidy really loves and I still need to read it. Then I have Fever by uh, Lauren Di Stefano, and this is just a random paperback right here because it's a very tall book. The next few books are mostly the first book of a series or a trilogy. And the first one is Sweet Venom by Terrilyn Child. Born Wicked by Jessica Spotswood. The Lost Girl by Sangu Mandana, which I read and really enjoyed, and I recommend it to all of you. It's mostly a dystopian sci-fi kind of thing, and it has to do with uh, cloning and stuff like that. And then I have some other dystopian books, such as Article 5 by Kristen Simons, Gone by Michael Grant, or Grant, and Partials by Dan Wells. And even though I own the next book in a paperback, I had to buy the hardcover because it was cheap. And <laughs> it is Dream Fever by Karen Marie Moaning, which is the fourth book in the uh, Fever series, I think. Then I have Saving Grace by Sierra Garakti. White Cat by Holly Black. The Host by Stephanie Meyer, which is one of my favorite books ever. And Under the Dome by Stephen King, which is very intimidating, but I really enjoy the TV show. And I know the TV show is kind of different from the book, but I'm excited to read the book. On these two shelves I have paperbacks, and uh, on the top shelf I have young adult contemporary paperbacks mostly, maybe some adult books, but on the bottom shelf I have a few more young adult contemporaries, but mostly new adult books and also some darker uh, young adult books on the very right side. And as you can see, I kind of tried it to make it colorful and rainbowy, but I did not succeed. The Good Luck Girl by Kerry Rice, which I started by, wasn't really feeling it. Just Listen by Sarah Dessen, which I loved. And By the Way by Denise Deegan. 
Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver, The Duff by Cody Kaplinger, which is one of my favorite contemporaries, Don't Brief a Word by Holly Kupala, Saving June by Hannah Harrington, again one of my very favorite uh, young adult contemporaries, 19 Minutes by Judy Picard, which is my only book by her, and I'm still afraid to read this book because it's about a boy who goes to school and basically kills some of his uh, schoolmates. Me Before You by Jojo Moyes, which I cannot recommend enough to all of you guys. Please, please, please read it because it's so amazing. Endless Summer by Jennifer Eccles, which is a bind up of The Boys Next Door and Endless Summer. Lipstick Apology by Jennifer J. Bailey, which was a disappointment. Chasing Daisy by Paige Toon, which I cannot uh, wait to read because it sounds like so much fun. Lock and Key by Sarah Desson. Amy and Roger's Epic Detour by Morgan Matson. This Lullaby by Sarah Desson. Another copy of Anna and the Friend Kiss by Stephanie Perkins because I suck. Graffiti Moon by Kath Crawley, which is an amazing book. Memoirs of a Teenage Amnesiac by Gabrielle Zavin, which was again a disappointment. Voices by Sue Mayfield. The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chabosky. And again, a disappointment. I know, I know, everyone seems to love it except me. Love Rosie by Cecilia Ehern, and I just recently bought this but cannot wait to read it. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Speechless by Hannah Harrington. The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson. The Sky is Everywhere by Jandy Nelson, which is an amazing book and I really, really recommend it. Twenty Boys Summer by Sarah Alkler, which I haven't read but I really want to. You Against Me by Jenny Dunham, which is the book that I disliked the most, basically. The Truth About Forever by Sarah Dessen, which is my favorite Sarah Dessen book. Along for the Ride by Sarah Dessen, which is my second favorite uh, book by her. And then I have a few other young adult contemporaries in this uh, shelf. I have Violet by Design by Melissa Walker, and I think this is the second book in the Violet trilogy. And then I have the first and the third book in the Perfect Chemistry series or trilogy by Simone Alcalas. And the first book is Perfect Chemistry, and the third one is Chain Reaction. And I will just quickly show you the books that are stacked on, on the top of these books. And the first one is I Am the Messenger by Marcus Zusak and Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen, which is an amazing book and an amazing movie. And then we start my new adult collection. And first I have the first two books in the Slammed trilogy by Colleen Hoover, which is Slammed. And the second book is Point of Retreat, and I loved Slammed. Didn't really love Point of Retreat as much as I love the first book, but the first book is amazing. Then we have one of my very favorite new adult books ever, and it is Beautiful Disaster by Jamie Maguire. And I also have the second book, which is Walking Disaster by uh, Jenny Maguire, and this is from Travis's point of view. The Secret of Ella and Michelle by Jessica Sorenson, which I haven't read yet. The Edge of Never by J.A. Radmorski, which is fantastic, and please read it because it's one of the best new adult books that you can find. And then I have two copies of the same book, which is Pushing the Limits by Katie McGarry. On the Island by Tracy Gervis Graves, which is one of my favorite books ever. It's just so amazing. It, you have to read it. Please read it because it's so good. It's so very good. Wait for You by Jaylin, and again, one of my very, very favorite yeah, uh, new adult books. But I could say that for the next two books as well um, Easy by Tamara Weber and The Sea of Tranquility by Katya Millay. They, they are just fantastic books. Which I can't say about this book, at least for me, uh, Losing It by Cora Carmack, which was just okay, but nothing fantastic. Because of Flow by Abby Glines, Barely Breathing by Rebecca Donovan, which is the second book in the Brief trilogy, I'm not sure. And Clash by Nicole Williams, which is the second book in the Crash trilogy. And then I have some new adult slash adult books on Dublin Street by Samantha Young, which was really good. Thoughtless by S.C. Stevens, which is the first book in the Thoughtless trilogy, and I really, really enjoy this book. Not so much the second uh, book in this trilogy. Then I have Bear to You and Reflected in You by Sylvia Day, which is the first and the second book in the Crossfire trilogy. 
I only read the first one, but didn't really enjoy it all that much, but I am still going to read the second book. Another Sylvia Day book is In the Flesh. And then I will just show you these two books on the very top. Uh, the first is Cinder by Marissa Meyer, which is a really great book, but I still need to read the second and the third one. Between Shades of Grey by Ruth and Sabatis, which I still need to read, but I just can't bring myself to read it because I don't want to be sad. And then I have some darker young adult books, I guess, I'm not sure. The first one is an arc of uh, Between by Jessica Vorman. I Hunt Killers by Barry Liga, Ultraviolet by R.J. Anderson, Stolen by Lucy Christopher, which I read and I enjoyed it, but it, it, it was very unique and it was very strange and yeah, it, it was good, but wasn't my favorite. And The House of Scorpion by Nancy Farmer. And I have some more books on these two shelves and they are here because I couldn't find a place for them anywhere else because... I need more space and uh, as you can see I have one shelf there and another one right there and on top of it I have my nail polishes. On this shelf I have other paperbacks which are dystopian, paranormal, fantasy maybe and let's start with the ones on the top. Touch of Power by Maria V. Snyder, The Pledge by Kimberly Dirting, 172 Hours on the Moon by Johan Harstad and Unraveling by Elizabeth Norris. Under the Never Sky by Veronica Rossi, which is the first book in a trilogy. The Testing by Joel Charbonneau, which is an art copy and I haven't read it yet. Blood Red Road by Maura Young. Wither by Lauren Di Stefano, which I really liked. Slated by Terry Terry. The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey, which is a good book, but I didn't really love it as much as everyone else seems to love it. Unbreakable by Kemi Garcia, World After by Susan E, which is the sequel to Angel Fall, and I'm really excited to read this. Crescendo by Becca Fitzpatrick, which is, I think, the sequel to Hush Hush, but I haven't read it. The Scorpio Races by Maggie Stiefvater, The Body Finder by Kimberly Dirting, which is a really great book. Dreams by Daniela Saccardotti, Wake by Amanda Hawking. Goddess Interrupted by Amy Carter, which is the sequel to The Goddess Test. Blood Song by Rhiannon Hart. Unholy Ghost by Stacey Akin, which is an adult paranormal series, I think, and I'm really excited to start this. Once That Twice Shy by Kim Harrison. And then I just have a couple more books right here. And first of all, I have my e-reader, which I haven't used in a long, long time, but I really love it. Then I have The Summoning by Kelly Armstrong, which is the first book in the Summoning trilogy. The Dark Light by Sarah Walsh. And Notes and Crosses by Mallory, Mallory Blackman. And then I have my babies, which are the Twilight books, and I just love them so much. And they made me want to read a lot, lot, lot more. And, and this series has got Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn. Then I also have the Twilight, the graphic novel, Volume 1, which is amazing. And I have Nevermore by Kelly Cree. And Ruby Red by Kirsten Gill, which I read but didn't really enjoy all that much. I have another copy of The Host by Stephanie Meyer, and this was my first copy of it. But it's just so tiny. I mean, it's like my hand, and it was so not easy to read. But as I said, this is one of my favorite books ever. Then I have Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lenny Taylor and also the sequel which is Days of Blood and Starlight by Lenny Taylor and I just adore these covers. I haven't started this uh, trilogy but I'm really excited to read it. Then I have The Book Thief by Marcus Dusak and I do have the dust jacket for this but it's pretty beat up and I just like the god lettering on the side a lot more than how it looks on the cover. An art copy of Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo, which was one of my favorite books in 2013. And the very last book is A Monster Cause by Patrick Nass. So there you have it guys, now you have seen all my books, at least the ones in English. And I really hope that you enjoyed it and that it wasn't a disappointment or it wasn't a letdown. But anyways, tell me what you thought in the comment section below and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.